Good night, good night, YouTubers again. Um, today I'm working on a 2011. It's going to be the same model for 11, 12, I believe, all the way up to 13, 14. And uh, this is the 4, the 6.7 power stroke. Um, pretty good engine, a lot of complaints so far. We're working on an oil cooler. Um, complaint was the oil cooler will be leaking in the morning once you first crank it. Once the engine warm up, it won't leak that bad. It may be a drop here or there, but for the most part of it will be okay. Um, the quick tip about this is this is an aftermarket oil cooler that I'm installing on. Um, we could have go to the dealer, but of course the price is probably going to be a little bit more. Um, at this point, AutoZone doesn't have the cooler available. Uh, Advanced Auto Power takes like three or four days. Or rallies is your way to go. They have the cooler next day basically and I'm gonna show you right now what's the difference the OEM cooler has a stud in the middle that means you have to drop the oil pan to take a 13 millimeter nut from the inside of the lower pan you have to drop the plastic pan that means you have to change the oil of course and the antifreeze that's basically all you're gonna need to do and the cooler is not bad bad located like the 6.0s it's actually pretty easy to reach it's only hold by seven outside millimeter bolts and it has that stud let me show you right away 